Hi, thanks for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today's video is how ashamed are you and how to overcome that personal or self embarrassment. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to identify here is that there is now 8 billion people on the planet. Wow. So when we consider 8 billion people, we've got to identify here that each single one of those people are all unique and individual, okay? We've all got something that makes us different to everybody else on the planet, okay? So it is very easy for people who are in like lower vibrational frequencies or energies to get feelings of embarrassment or feeling personally ashamed or insecure, jealous types, which is all negative behaviors, right? You know, we look at people who now spend so much time on their makeup, their hair, their eyelashes, extensions, this, increasing the size of this, because what's happening to them is that they can't accept what's personally their own personal body. So they feel that they need to change it in order to fit in with other people. Okay, now it's all right to dye your hair, put on nice nail polish, get glasses that suit society, etc. Okay, I'm not disputing anyone's personal opinions here at all. Okay, we all do it. But when it goes into that deep mental reasoning as why people do it, rather than just say, hey, I like blonde hair, so I'm going to dye it, then that is what I'm talking about today when it goes into that deep mental side of where we creating these insecurities, embarrassments and feeling of being ashamed based on feeling not worthy enough within our own body. Okay. When we go to heaven, which I call home, it doesn't matter what we look like, okay? Any little flaw that we have on our bodies is perfected when we go there. Our skin is great. Our eyesight is 20-20 perfect vision. You know, if we want long nails, all we've got to think and they grow, okay? If we want short hair, instantly we have short hair. So up there, we don't have to worry about it. But down here, personal physical maintenance can become a sort of mental um, disorder through that feeling of all those negativity um, traits that we possess, you know, the insecurities, the doubts, um, embarrassment, and ultimately shame, okay? So when we look at being shamed, people say to me all the time, Linda, you're missing a tooth. Why don't you go and fix it? One, it's my tooth. Two, it's my body. Three, it's my choice. Do I personally need to satisfy their opinion of me to get my tooth fixed? Absolutely not. Okay? It's my decision. Am I happy with it? Yes. And as I say to people, don't look at the face saying the words. Listen to the words coming out of the face that's very important so I'm going to say that again don't look at the face saying the words listen to the words that are coming out of the face okay that's a little bit of wisdom that I tell a lot of people who have insecurity problems oh my hair is too short I wish it was longer or oh, I'm short I wish I was taller don't ever change who you are to appease other people people okay it's all right if you just say oh I'm short I have trouble finding clothes because that's just something that you you acknowledge in yourself that you're short so it's not a problem okay but when it becomes a problem where you're comparing yourself to others which is jealousies and when it becomes a problem where you want to appease other people's opinions which is embarrassment and shame that's where it becomes an issue, okay? I hope that I've just clarified that. So I'm going to tell you a story today and then I'm going to tell you how to change from being ashamed and embarrassed to 
owning up to our own personal uniqueness and individualism. So then we can be proud of all these little flaws that we have. So then we feel confident, which means trust, by the way. I can trust myself that all these flaws or in idiosyncrasies or whatever it is that I've got, I don't care what other people think. Because as long as I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Happiness is a big way of raising our vibration, okay? When we're happy with the color of our car, when we're happy with school results, when we're happy with the way we've made our dinner, when we're happy with the clothes that we wear, that is showing that we trust ourselves and that's how we feel confident. We're comfortable with what we're doing, okay? So when, whenever we want to raise our vibrations, we want to be happy with what we do, okay? So I'm going to give you this example. Three days ago, I took my daughter up to the shopping center, which in America, it would be like a big mall, okay? So we're walking down inside this building and we come to this place that sells DVDs and as I'm in there with my daughter, bending down, looking on the bottom row at all the DVDs, I thought, oh, 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 is that a fart or is there something else there? Oh, so I thought I've got to get to the toilet, right? So I said to my daughter, stay here, don't leave the store, I'll be back in a few minutes. So I race down to where the toilet block is, the public toilet, and as I go in and I'm thinking, oh, hold this in, Linda, hold it in, hold it in, nearly there, nearly there, walk in and there's about four cubicles on each side and I thought, oh my God, I've got to go to the end one just in case this is just not gas. And as I get up to the end, I realize that there was a lady in the stall next to me. Just as I closed the door, sat on the toilet. <laughs> Just as I felt that, oh, that feels good moment. Lady in the next cubicle. Oh my god! <laughs> How fast did she stand up, pull up her pants, and get out of the toilet? Oh, yeah, she flushed her, whatever she was doing. But she ran out of those to that toilet. <laughs> just yet I'm gonna stay here just for a little bit longer <laughs> I didn't want her to see that it was me just in case I saw her somewhere else in the shops right <laughs> oh god I go back out and I go back to where my daughter is in the shop and she says mum how do you feel and I went oh I'm so much better now. <laughs> oh god she had a couple of dvds so we went up and paid for them at the counter and i was thinking thank god i didn't do that in the shop <laughs> exit where the car's parked and I'm telling Tashi I said oh my god you should have heard this lady oh my god <laughs> oh yeah was I embarrassed was I ashamed of what I've just done no 
walking outside with Tashi. I said, oh, God, thank God I didn't do that in the bloody store. <laughs> oh, crap, it makes my eyes water. <laughs> oh, God. But ultimately, <clears throat> let's have a look at how I reacted to that situation. Anybody else would have been sitting there ashamed. Oh, my God, I can't leave the toilet. I don't want to be seen. I don't want that lady to see me. Well, yeah, I just didn't want to see that lady to see me because, hello, I just virtually farted in her face. <laughs> oh, God. But at the end of the day, why I didn't leave? Because I didn't want her to feel any sort of embarrassment any sort of feelings of shame when she did actually have to confront me. So that's why I stayed and let her go. It wasn't about me, it was about her. I just wanted her to leave. She'd be probably out there saying, Oh my God, <laughs> this lady came in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So ultimately, I was sort of protecting her from having those sort of negative feelings, okay? So how do we raise ourselves up? <laughs> Turn these little in... <laughs> I can't even say the word. <laughs> these little indiscretions that we have. <laughs> you know, we're all human, guys. You know, we get gas. We've got to admit it, right? Even Shrek says, better out than in. <laughs> Oh God. So how did I overcome any sort of feelings of negativity there with shame or embarrassment? You weren't up to it. I told my daughter what happened. I owned up to it. So then she wasn't ashamed. So she wasn't embarrassed by what happened. I said, look, doll, this is natural human behavior. Everybody gets gas. Everybody has got to admit it somewhere and somehow, right? She started laughing. I started laughing. And what is laughter? Laughter is the best way to raise your vibration when you feel ashamed or embarrassed. Okay? Laughter raises up our vibration, which creates that positivity within us. So when something does happen like, that in that toilet block we can sit there and laugh at our own self we're not making fun of somebody else we're not putting someone else down I was certainly not putting myself down you know I was walking outside thinking what did I eat for dinner last night <laughs> oops okay so how do we get through being ashamed and embarrassed? Own up to all these flaws that you may have. All these little idiosyncrasies. All these little behaviours. <laughs> yeah, I've got some. We all have them, right? Because that's what makes us unique and individual. Own up to your flaws. I just told you about my tooth. Okay? I don't care what other people think of me. I honestly don't care because I don't take it on board and make it my problem. <clears throat> if somebody else has a problem with me, it's their problem. Okay? It's something that they have to look at within themselves and say, why am I getting offended? Why am I ashamed? Why am I embarrassed? Why am I jealous of that other person? Okay, because when we look into our own psyche, which is psychology and psycholo um, psychiatry, psychology and all the rest of it, right? Whenever we look at our own psyche, that's when we learn who our true self is. Okay, I was laughing at myself because one, it was hysterically funny. Okay, two, no one got harmed or hurt. 
unless that lady tripped her. She was running out the door. <laughs> but she wasn't there when I left, okay? But we laugh at ourselves, okay? <clears throat> we laugh at ourselves. Right now, as I'm looking at myself on the screen, I've got this little curl here. <clears throat> Some would say, yeah, that's annoying me today. But you know what? It's a curl. Just here. It's a curl. Look at my hair. It's curly. Okay? So I accept these flaws. I accept these idiosyncrasies. I accept my behaviors. Because when I accept it all, okay? I even lost a nail last night. Look, one of my nails broke. Look, they're all long except for this little guy. <laughs> But now I've got something that makes me different, okay? I, I broke a nail last night. So now I sit here and I think, Linda, this is just a representation that you're in a physical form. Things break, things break down. Things go wrong with our bodies, right? Accept them. Accept it. And be grateful. Appreciate what you've got that is different to everybody else on the planet. Can you imagine if everybody had a wonky fingernail? How normal would it be? But now that I can say, hey, I'm missing a nail, it feels a little bit weird. But it's just because I'm not used to it because it was not quite long. Yeah, it was about the same length as that one last night. So I don't really care about it. Okay? As long as I'm not using it negatively, right? Oh, my God, I can't leave the house today because, oh, my God, I've only got nine nails. I've got to go and get a fake one to put it on today because everybody else will criticize me or, or feel ashamed because I've only got nine nails on instead of ten. Okay? <clears throat> Mind you, these are natural, by the way. They're my natural nails. They're not, they're not artificial ones. Okay? So it'll just grow back. So, but how many people will go out there and put another nail on their fingernail? Okay? So, think about what you do, right? And you sit there and you psychoanalyze yourself. Do I get embarrassed when I do that? Do I feel ashamed when I do that? Can I leave my house in my slippers today? Why not? Why not? It's only because society, which is made up of a group of people, they form this opinion, oh, you can't wear your slippers when you leave the house. Why not if they're comfortable and warm? Okay? Be who you are and laugh about it. Because the more you laugh at yourself and say, God, Linda, you are such a twat. The more you laugh at yourself, the more you're accepting who you are. I remember years ago, I was taking my daughter to school one morning and we've got a bus stop around the corner. And it's one of those seats with a little shelter around it with a little roof so no one in there gets wet if it rains. As we approached, I saw about 10 people in the queue to get on the bus. They're all looking down at their phones. Not even aware of what's going on around them. But under the shelter as we, as we passed, there's this woman standing on this bus seat of this shelter and not only was she standing there she had these cords coming from her from her ears with her phone and she was rocking out to whatever music she was listening to can you imagine this all these people standing there on their phone and here she is standing there dancing on the seat under the bus stop who was doing life right that day i can tell you who was doing life right she got to work probably that day she would have been in such a great mood where she's emitting this higher frequency through her laughter and her happiness She's admitting that to all her other co-workers, anyone else that she interacts with in the office or wherever she works, any customers that come in or whatever. She would have been there, oh yeah, how are you today? These ones standing there doing this. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. Oh yeah, I'm going to work today. How do you think they would have been going? 
Hell yeah, I'm at work again today. Do you think they would have been productive? Do you think they would have been having happy, kind conversations with other people in the office? Probably not. I'm not going to accuse, okay? But probably not. So live your life right, guys. Because once you accept all these little crazy things about yourself, guess what happens? Your energy starts raising up. You have this great mood that builds. It's like, I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah! Even Marky Mark, look what he sings. Bring on those good vibrations, right? Bring on those good vibrations. Because once we've got them within us, we're remitting them to everybody else that we interact with. So even if it's your neighbour, you're just going out to bring in your wheelie bin because the garbage guy's just been. And you see your neighbour and you say, oh, g'day! He's going to also mirror or reflect that same energy. And he'll be there, oh, g'day! Back! He'll go inside, oh, wow, I just waved at my neighbour. And he's going to have a great day too. His wife comes home from work. He's probably still in the same mood. Oh, g'day! How are you? Did you have a good day at work? Because that ripple effect keeps going. So the more we start with ourselves, because it's all in here, right? Start appreciating and being grateful of every silly, crazy, stupid thing that you've got about you. Start loving it. I love the fact I'm missing a tooth because it makes me different to the other 8 million people on the planet. I love that I've just broken a nail, ironically, because today I got told to do a, a video on how to be confident, okay, and not to be ashamed. <clears throat> I'm not ashamed that I lost a finger. I'm not ashamed at all. My nail's broken, but that's me. I accept me. And when I start to value me, when I start to see my worth of being this funny, crazy, silly girl <coughs> who can laugh at her own mistakes, <coughs> laugh at her own idiosyncrasies, laugh at her own bodily reactions, that's how we love ourselves. And most importantly, when we love ourselves for who we are and all this crazy wild cra stuff that we do, when we go out, it attracts other people. That's how you get someone else to fall in love with you. Because they don't love you because they don't know your personality or your characteristics, behaviors yet. But they're in love with the energy that they're attracted to. They're, they feel your auric field they have you know that i like their vibe i like their vibe <laughs> it works guys and the world needs this right now look how many people are out there now angry people that are getting aggressive people are judging and accusing other people without looking at themselves and saying what am i doing to create this anger what am I doing to create these feelings where I'm now accusing that person of doing that and I'm telling them you shouldn't be doing that and I'm so self-righteous and I'm so self-worthy where I can do this but you shouldn't be doing it either. Don't judge other people. Let them do whatever they want because they've already got that confidence to go out and do it. And when we find that confidence within us, where we are no longer ashamed for what we've done. We accept it graciously and with thanks and appreciation to the heavens and say thank you so much for giving me this so I can appreciate myself to get out there and spread this emotion to other people. Are you having a great day yet? I hope that you laughed with what I said. Because that proves this stuff works. Catch us all next time. Bye.
To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.